soon after becoming president, he made an official trip to France. And the first thing he played about is better education. You know, one of the pillars of the proper agenda for development is about better education at very good uh, rates. So he partnered with the French government to send some students to Institut Polytechnique, a very renowned school in Abidjan. And uh, the exam was held two months ago, and we have over, 20, over 630 children who participated. Only 20 passed the exam, yes. So those are the children we are taking for technical training, science, and uh, everything that the country needs. The program is for four years, but for the first six months it will be French. So it's giving them an opportunity to learn another language other than English and open them to the external world. Next year, we will announce, stay, stay tuned, uh, check the website of the First Lady. The First Lady is about better education for everybody. She took it under her flagship program, She is You Movement. And so stay tuned, First Lady will announce the date of the next um, exam. It will be next year. Originally, the program was mostly for girls. You know, the first lady is about girls empower, girl empowerment, girl and women empowerment. Unfortunately, most girls are afraid of science and math. So this is only the first promotion. We will campaign, we will advocate for girls not to be afraid, not to shy away from technical studies and go into science and math. So hopefully next year we will have all 20 girls. I just wanted to thank the president for what he has done for those young uh, students and the first lady. You yourself so ha happy and excited they are. So what we want to do with them is to open them to learn to be entrepreneur because there is one thing in the country, most people want to work for the government. We have to teach the students, the, our children, that there are other opportunities, better opportunities about entrepreneurship, about creativity, about technical studies. We are all in the trial zone, you know, we are waiting for the students to come to uh, Africa's uh, scholarship. And um, uh, this is one of the best scholarships so far, where the, uh, the students will be accommodated very well. Okay, they are going to stay there for four years. What are the disciplines? Yeah, um, it's all engineering courses. They, they, they initiated this culture program travel to France and they you can see the success of it where our students will be traveling on 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 the other course and the benefit from the Bible culture program. You come from the Ministry of Education. How was the vetting process? Well the, the vetting process was so beautiful. I see. Uh, this time around, uh, we had uh, four courses, you know, uh, we, we tested them with different courses, like uh, physics, uh, chemistry, mathematics, and French, beginner French, okay, and then uh, we, we have, we have a vintage from okay, other course, to be on the, back, on the panel too. They, 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 they administer you know, the, the, the test. And then after the test was administered, the test papers were taken back to Africa's and were, were, were all corrected. And then we got the, the, the final candidates that made a pass in, in, in the test. We hope and pray that we'll have more of these uh, uh, offers in the world. To Liberia, go to Liberia because we need to build an education system. These kids, even they are going back, no, they will study and come back. It will be like children from China. Okay, they will be able to go into our classrooms and help uh, uh, build the capacity of our students. So, having such a program, uh, I'm very happy. Next year will be the second batch, and we hope and pray that many students will participate. This time around, we have 630 students that participated, and only 25. We're successful. We hope next year we move. I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy to build this research. What are you going to do in Africa? I'm going to study civil engineering at previous school in Yamasoko. That's something most of your friends, ladies, everyone understand.
a huge challenge. What do we have to say to them? We can do all things. Once we put our mind to it, set our goals, we can achieve it. If men can do the same, we as well can do the same. They are not special than us. All we need is time. I would like to say a big thank you to Madam Press today and to the Librarian Government for affording us such a great opportunity that will change our life and the life of our family. We are very grateful now to find a funded, funded scholarship that is absolutely free, including meal, accommodation, traveling, allowances. I'm so grateful in our families. When I come back to Liberia, I'll have to perform my national service to my country in a public area because I'm going to specialize in real road building and construction. So we have to make Mama Liberia beautiful and with that skill and knowledge, I can, we can develop Liberia and make Liberia for Liberia once more on the map. And uh, we are excited about this opportunity. We heard of it, we sat for the test, which was quite uh, free and fair. And uh, about 20 students were successful out of the 630 students who sat for the test. And uh, the Ministry of Education has been the vanguard that we gather all of our documents and history is a success. So I want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to, uh, to the Ministry of Education for what they did and also to the, the French government for this opportunity afforded to the young people of Liberia. I'm grateful because I overheard that this is extending up to a master's program. This is really a good one. I'm excited about it, as I said. I can't wait to see myself in Yamasoko and in the institution of higher learning in Yamasoko there. All right, so what are you doing to study in Ah, Almost everywhere I have their own uh, course that I decided upon. For me, I'm, I'm going to study industrial engineering because I've not heard of one uh, labyrinth industrial engineer yet. And I'm not seeing many companies in Liberia. I think this is a hard time we're going to software studies so that we can make the difference in Liberia. We'll have more companies so that uh, unemployment rate can be reduced and so that uh, a lot more can be done. What do we expect to see you do? Uh, the country uh, definitely is going to expect a lot of me and myself. Uh, I've promised and I've uh, proposed within my heart that I'm going to do my best and I'm going to come and uh, contribute a lot to this nation. I actually chose industrial engineering because I've decided to solve a problem in Liberia. I've seen that as a challenge. And I think it's hard time to solve uh, that particular issue in Liberia. Less companies and unemployment rate is, is very high. So it's hard time we reduce that. It's hard time we have more companies in Liberia. So that Liberia can be able to showcase or put us like the rice, like the crops we have. All of that, we need to showcase what we have here. The Ghanaians are doing that. They are, the Nigerians, all the countries are doing that. I think in Liberia we can do the same.